Welcome back. Starting this week, some 66,000 UW students, staff, and faculty have returned to campus for the spring semester. And joining them are 35 autonomous delivery vehicles. It's a technical name for some very cute food delivery robots. They've been on campus since the fall of 2019. But as our Mark Kane found out, weather, COVID, and a worker shortage has made the rob robots more popular than ever. These Starship Autonomous Bots have been rolling around the UW campus for over two years now. Some humans were a little uneasy at first. But as time went on, uh, students really adapted to it. They really took them in as part of the campus community now. Peter Testery is the Director of Dining and Culinary Services on campus. It provides the gift of time from our um, perspective. Students do not have to stop studying. They don't have to stop doing whatever it is they're doing. Uh, to order food from us, and it can be brought right to wherever they are. Order fries. Like everything else these days, it's all done on an app. Sophomore Jared Lenzendorf is a big fan of the service. It's so nice not to have to hike 15 minutes to go get food. I can just order it straight to where I live, and it's just really helpful. He opens the app on his phone, pins his location on a map, like Uber, and orders his food. A human loads up the order, and it's on its way. Delivery time, about 20 minutes or so. It can vary. At the beginning of the year, wait times can be relatively long because students are new to campus, they are taking selfies with them, they're stopping to dress them up. When they were first introduced, food services wanted to name the little guys. I had a lot of dreams of putting flames and dressing them up as R2-D2 and things like that and was quickly told uh, no. San Francisco-based Starship Technologies actually own and operate the robots. They collect the $2 delivery fee. The UW pays nothing for them. They become as much a part of campus as exams, dorms, and parties, and they are a big hit. They add to the campus experience. They're a part of our community. We love them. They sometimes get a little lost, but we help them out, and, you know, they stay out of our way. And the robot's popularity has surged during the pandemic. A sharp increase, two to 300 more orders a day, up from 400 a day pre-pandemic. It has allowed students, faculty or staff that want to remain at their location, in their room, in their offices, whatever the case may be, uh, to do that and to still have hot food brought to them um, on a regular basis. So it's little wonder these little wonders are now ingrained into campus life. Yeah, if... Uh, you know, if, if one tips over, students put them back up. Um, during Halloween, we have students that dress up like them. We regularly get calls of people that are concerned that someone is, is stealing a robot or doing something they shouldn't be doing to it. So yeah, camp, the, the students on campus most certainly look out for them um, and help them out if they need help. It's almost as uh, the campus pet. A very cute campus pet. They are um, interestingly cute, yes, <laughs> most certainly. <laughs> on the UW-Madison campus, I'm Mark Cade, News 3 Now. And here's something you probably didn't know. You do not have to be associated with UW-Madison to order food from a robot. You just download the Starship app and actually be on university property.